Hi guys! Today we're going to look at how to add a health bar to the UI so that we can see how much damage we've taken. OK, we'll start with this scene that has several enemies that wander around and chase the player if it gets too close. The player has a health controller component that allows it to take damage whenever it hits an enemy. We created this in our 2D top-down shooter series, so take a look if you want to know how it was done. Alternatively, you can download this project by supporting us on Patreon. All the links you need can be found in the description. OK, we'll start by adding a UI canvas to the scene. We'll click the plus button on the hierarchy and select UI Canvas. This creates a canvas for us to add all our UI elements to. We want the UI to scale to different resolutions, so we'll change the UI Scale mode to Scale with Screen Size. Then we'll set the reference resolution to 1920 by 1080. Now the UI elements will shrink if the screen is below this resolution, and they will grow if it's above. We'll switch to the game view so we can see how the UI is going to look. Next, we'll add the health bar. We'll right click on the canvas and add an empty game object. We'll call this health bar. We're going to position this in the top left corner. We can do this by clicking this button. Then we'll hold down Alt and Shift and click the top left. This will set the anchor point, pivot, and position to the top left. We'll change the position value to 20 on the X axis and minus 20 on the Y axis. Next, we'll add the background image for the health bar. We'll right click on the health bar and add a UI image. We'll call this background. We'll position this to the top left in the same way, remembering to hold Shift and Alt. Then we'll set the width of this to 300 and the height to 50. We'll also change the colour to brown. That's it for the background. Now we need to add the foreground. We'll right click on the health bar again and add another image. We'll call this foreground. We'll position this to the top left in the same way as the others. We'll offset the position by 7 on the X axis and minus 7 on the Y axis. We'll set the width to 286 and the height to 36. Let's also change the colour to red. Now we have something that looks recognisable as a health bar. The next thing to do is make this change based on how much health the player has. To help us do this, we need to assign an actual image to this component. We'll search for the square sprite and select it. If you can't see it, you may need to click this icon to show all sprites. This has now enabled some more options. We'll set the image type to filled. And we'll set the fill method to horizontal. Now, if we change the fill amount value, we can see the health bar go up and down. So we just need to create a script to synchronise this with the amount of health the player has. We'll navigate to the Health Scripts folder and add a new script. We'll call this Health Bar UI. We'll drag this script onto the health bar to assign it. Then we'll double click to open it. We'll delete the default methods and add a new public method to update the health bar. We're going to trigger this method via a Unity event whenever the health value changes. Whenever this happens, we want to update the health bar fill amount. To do this, we'll need a field for the UI image we want to update. We'll make this serializable so we can set it from the inspector. We also need access to the health controller of the player. Unity event handlers allow us to add a component as a parameter to be passed in. So we'll add a parameter for the health controller. Now we can set the fill amount.
This expects a value between 0 and 1, so we'll use the remaining health percentage property we created in the previous video in this series. This will set the fill amount to 1 when the player has maximum health, and will then decrease towards 0 as the player takes damage. That's it for this script. We now need to go back to the health controller script to add a new event. We'll call this one on health changed. We want to invoke this one when health is either added or removed. We'll go to the take damage method and invoke it in here. Then we'll do the same in the add health method. Okay, that's it for the scripts. Let's save them and switch back to Unity. We'll click the health bar in the hierarchy. Then we'll drag the foreground image into the field in the inspector. Next, we'll select the player and add a subscriber to the on health changed event. We'll drag the health bar into the object slot. Then we'll find the update health bar method. Notice that we now have an extra slot for a health controller. This is because we added this as a parameter in this method. We'll drag the player into this slot. So now, whenever the player's health changes, this event fires. This then calls the update health bar method, passing in the health controller of the player. Let's press play to try this out. Now we can see how much health the player has. And once the health bar is empty, the player is dead and can no longer move. In the next video in this series, we'll add enemy spawn points to give us an unlimited horde of zombies to fight. If you want to be alerted when this one's out, then subscribe and click the bell icon. If you have any questions or feedback on this video, then let us know in the comments. A big thank you to all our patrons, we really appreciate you helping to support the channel. If you'd like to help and also get access to the source code, you can find details in the description. Thanks guys!